the main sin that causes the, all the other sins is the unbelief. Knowing him to be God, choosing not to recognize it, suppressing that truth, then you can now do whatever you want to do. Okay, move on. So we move on to, you see Paul still deals with this issue on the sin. So God abandoned them to whatever shameful things their heart desires. That can only happen after you've disbelieved already. Okay, moving on. That is why God abandoned them. He repeats himself in verse 26. Even the women, he now starts talking about the sin of what? Which would you, what would you call this? Speak it out if you know. Yeah, don't be ashamed to say it. Say it. The sin of homosexuality. Okay, homosexual sin. So they now started engaging. Of course, this doesn't just happen in Corinth. It's been happening all the way down to the time of Lot. Does that make sense? All the way in the, as early as Lot's time. They said to Lot, we want the angel to sleep with. Men were asking for physical angels who are men to sleep with. Lot had to say, why, why not my children, daughters? Why the Sodom and Gomorrah Gomorrah has denied God already. So when the, the knowledge of God is suppressed completely, then all kinds of sin will come up. Yeah. So it doesn't matter which generation. If we suppress the knowledge of God in United Kingdom and get it out of our schools, get it out of our societies, get it out of in everything, what will follow after that is all manner of sin. It's not just homosexuality. Okay? It's not just that. It's all kinds. All right? So, that's what Paul was dealing with. And women did it. And then men did it. Okay. Now, before we move forward, I'm going to make a point. Sometimes, and this is where I have an issue. Sometimes Christians read this passage and they go on a rampage against homosexual or gay people. They emphasize just this. They read this whole chapter and they emphasize just the homosexual aspect alone. And I have a problem with that, personally. I know touchy point. But I'll explain to you why I have a problem. We end up making it look like the other sins mentioned in this same chapter is less of a sin than the sin of homosexuality. Paul is saying they denied him as God, so therefore all kinds of sin came up. He then mentioned the sin of homosexuality first of all, but he didn't stop there. So let's add all the sin and treat all of them fairly. Let's add all the sins Paul mentioned there. Their lives became full of what? Every kind includes the homosexuality mentioned every kind of wickedness and sin let's mention them greed do we know christians who are greedy yes we do hate envy murder quarreling do we know people in churches who are fighting each other kicking each other yes S splitting churches and doing all kinds of things this is deception is that happening even amongst christians yes it is malicious behaviors gossip have you ever indulged in it? I have. Okay? So, am I exonerating any sin? No, I'm saying let's treat all of them equally if we must deal with this. And they, 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 are, they became who? Backstabbers, haters of God, insolent, proud. Do we know people who are still proud? Yes. And boastful. And inventors of sin, all manner of sin. Do we know any child who has disobeyed their parents? I have. And sometimes. <laughs> Love you, son. <laughs> what does that mean? Why, why did Christians read that passage and we start raising placard for homosexual people? Raise placard against the children who disobey Go and stand on the street. Every child who disobeys his father will go to hell. We might as well do it for everyone. 
we might as well do it for everyone. We have people who Christians who say, oh, the guy is gay. I will never relate with him at all. Hang on a minute. Your pastor gossips. You're still relating with him. You. You're still de- dealing with greed. So should we all abandon you as well? The church belongs to the gay people as well. Can I say that again? The church is for everyone. It's for all of us sinners. So that Christ may redeem us through his word. And you will see that towards the end. The good news is the power of God to save us. So where are you going to get it if it's not in the church? If you have gay friends, bring them to church, please. And do not judge them for the same sin that you are committing. If you are without sin, Jesus said, you cast the first stone. And everyone walked away. At least they were honest. If it's today, oh, without sin, yeah? Where's the stone? <laughs> Even though I have sin, I'll cast the pa. That's what we have in church today. We all pretend like we don't sin. Judging everyone, pointing fingers. At least those guys were honest. We condemned them for trying to stone the woman to death. But when they were challenged with, with their heart, if you are without sin, cast the first stone. Oh, yeah, it's true. Um, yeah, actually, I'm not really that clean. I thought I was, but until you pointed it out. May God help us.